Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday. This is the Monday Market Outlook. If you're not familiar around here on the channel, what we like to do on Mondays is we take a look at what's happening in the week ahead on foot, talk about some market movements that we could see and possibly any investments or trading related info that we might find out during this week. And obviously there's a lot to talk about this week. We have a lot of content most likely coming with foot birthday. Um, and the, so far EA has been doing, I think a personally pretty good job on this promo so far. We had a great team selection. We've had pretty solid objective and SBC content so far. So, so far they're doing a great job in my opinion. And I honestly don't expect that to change. I think they're going to continue with the solid content throughout this week because they know this promo is big for them. And, um, I think they're going to keep things ramped up and keep the content pretty spicy for this week in foot. Now, a lot of you guys have asked questions. When should I buy some of these foot birthday players? And we'll be talking about that um, to start off the video at the moment, because I know that's one of the biggest questions a lot of you guys had tonight with squad battle rewards, right? This is like the, my outlook for the week on these cards this week. Tonight with squad battle rewards, a lot of these cards took a hit in price. Lozano is under 100K. Mbappe, right? A lot of you guys yesterday were saying, yo, Nate, this Mbappe card seems to be the real deal. Will he ever get back under 5 million coins? Guess what? He's already there. 4.95, I think, right now. Yeah, here's your 94 Mbappe at 4.96. A lot of like weekend league sell off has started to happen. We still have one day left of the weekend league, though. So you expect to see prices kind of stay a little bit lower as some people will still be selling off some cards. But I'm kind of interested in some of these foot birthday play players. I just want to talk you guys through this because. This is kind of a hard situation. It's always tough to time these sort of things. And this time it's especially tough because there's so many people that want these cards, right? So many of you guys want these foot birthday players and you want to get in at a good price. And here's what I want to tell you. Here's what I want to tell you. These guys have a lot of supply. Look at how many Griezmanns there are on the market. Today, this guy's price was 1.65 for most of the day. Look at what he is right now with the weekend link sell off where he was for most of the day today. Look how many pages of supply right now. Let me remind you, it's nighttime. The man has two plus pages of supply on the market. He's 1.61. So he's dropped to like 40, 50,000 coins today. My biggest thing with these cards, and the question is, will they still drop? I honestly think they have to because there is a lot of supply on these cards. It doesn't seem like it, but there is a lot of supply. You know, basically for a Griezmann card, a 92 rated Griezmann card that we would normally have in this game, we normally wouldn't have this much supply of him on the market, especially at this stage of the night. We're looking at what? Eight? Am I going to hit nine? Ten? We have nine full pages of supply right now, and it's like 3 a.m. UK time at the moment. That is a lot of supply for a 92 rated Griezmann special card. That's why I think these prices are going lower. I know these cards have a ton of hype right now, but the next big SBC that we get that uh, could suck coins off the market, which by the way, if we get any big SBCs right now, they're pretty pricey, And but people are still going out and doing them because foot is hype. There's a lot of people on FIFA right now. This promo is hype. The cards are great. If they put out like a, a Pogba or maybe like a flashback Bakayoko or another foot birthday SBC player that is hype, that is, you know, kind of good value or just a player that a lot of people would want to go and do, we're seeing people do the SBCs that we got the past couple days I'm seeing a lot of Amavis being done as a French left back. I'm seeing a lot of people talk about Ogbonna, right? Like this is a really good looking card on the base. You go in and look at the attributes. I mean, 79 acceleration and eh, 74 stamina, agility and balance at this stage of the game. Just okay. If this card means something to you, if you really want to do it, you can go for it. But high rated are pricey right now, boys. Cheapest players by rating are expensive and you know, we'll talk about what we could see for the rest of this week, but is pack supply going to be coming this week? I mean, we'll probably get a couple pack SBCs here and there, but with a mid icon SBC being out and so many other SBCs being out with people on the game, when people have coins like they, this weekend, they had saved packs. So they, they got coins this weekend. They opened up lightning rounds. We had three days of lightning rounds this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is, uh, you know, a normal promo, but it, the, the past couple promos, they've only been doing Friday and Saturday. So we had an extra day of lightning rounds, which means more supply. And these cards are still maintaining their pretty high prices in terms of the high rated SBC 
fodder. Now, is that going to stop people from doing SBCs later this week if they put out like a Pogba or a Maka, or not a Makalele, but a, a Bakayoko or other big time SBCs? I don't think so because the SBCs they've put out so far, only good reviews about Ozil. I haven't heard much about this guy, but I know a lot of people have done him. Haven't heard much about Ogbana either, but I can see people are doing him. If they put out good players like this Ozil was like a really good SBC for them to drop, people went and did it. That's 200,000 coins that they are losing from their club turning into an untradeable player. And you know, you do this one, that's another 120K. I think the, the Ogbana is 370K, um, which is pretty pricey. And now we have these upgrade packs. So people are putting their coins into these as well. Um, by the way, small flex, I did 20 of these tonight at the beginning of the live stream. And yes, that is a first owner untradeable, Marcus Rashford. Uh, I hit the jackpot in my first 20 packs. Unbelievable. Couldn't believe it. So now we have this card for the rest of the year in the squad. I need to upgrade my left mid badly. He is a sore spot in this team for sure. Sorry, Ryan Kent. You will be demoted to super sub very soon. Anyways, there's just a lot of, there's a lot of possibility this week for people to drain their coins and SBCs. And with the massive supply that we have, not massive, but the high supply that we have on these cards right here i'm just a little concerned that they might keep dropping later this week i know there's going to be demand will some of these cards rise up if we don't get pack supply these next couple days and the sbcs that come out are just kind of average you might see some of these cards rise back up a little bit because people are just going out and trying them lozano is one of them mooney Ayn, i think could rise a tiny bit as well not a ton just a little Griezmann hasn't dropped that much. He still has more to go, in my opinion. Rashford's dropped like 150K since yesterday. That could be a card that goes back up. Rashford's actually one of the most rare cards out of this promo that I've seen so far. He's actually really rare. Um, not saying that because I packed him, but he's actually pretty rare on the market if you go and check out his card. Sissoko still has room to drop for me. This card has the most hype out of almost anybody. He's got a ton of supply. He's got room to drop. So if you really want the lowest price for these, I'm going to tell you to keep waiting and just wait and see what happens this week with flip content because I think they're going to keep dropping hype stuff. There's going to be people on the game all week focused on the content, ready at 6 p.m. UK every day. So I would still wait on these cards, but don't get alarmed if they rise up, you know, maybe 5 to 10 percent over the next, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If we don't get a lot of supply from SBC packs or from anything in the game, don't get super alarmed if they go up a little bit. I think on Thursday, possibly on Friday again, we might have a chance to pick up on some of these cards. Again, the supply is the biggest issue for me on these. And I talked about it yesterday a little bit more, but the supply is the number one issue that I have with these cards in foot. Now, speaking of the content that we could get this week, what other stuff could we be getting this week in foot? Of course, more foot birthday SBCs. They've dropped two so far. Ozil goes away in four days. Amavi goes away in three. What else could we be seeing? Uh, Ogbana is here, and he's here for the rest of FIFA. He has no, um, he has no expiration date, and this really interests me, right? This Ogbana is celebrating his 2017-2018 season, which he also got a foot birthday card back then. Um, so I'm really interested to see if they're going to do more of these flashback SBCs. And there's a couple things I'm interested to see. Are they going to be including more people from that FIFA 17? But birthday playlist, you have guys like El Sharawi, you have guys like S Vine, um, you had a Dava Louise. I would doubt we'd see another Dava Louise, but look at that FIFA 17 list of, of guys that were in the FIFA 17 foot birthday. Maybe that's kind of a hint of what we could be getting into, but I still feel like a Bakioko could be in line, or you know, somebody like that from a previous FIFA that was a really meta overpowered player. And the second thing I'm interested about in these is are they gonna make them all? non-expiration dates because if they're making this non-expiration that's kind of interesting to me like you know all the players that they put in this non-expiration section so far um they've been from major teams they've been really big name hyped up players right hazard big name player Leroy Sané big name player Ramos uh, Alexandro Boateng Vidal and now we have Ogbonna and that really interests me that they put him out in the game as a non-expiration date that really, really interests me. Uh, I'm And it's making me wonder, are they gonna continue to do that with all of the new SBC that they put out, um, player SBC-wise? I think we might get a player SBC 
just about every day. They've been doing that for the past couple of weeks and they know that they're, they're taking tons of coins off the game by doing that. So I would not be surprised if we continue to get these SBCs um, almost every day. We got upgrade packs today. I wasn't expecting these until like today on Monday or Tuesday. We got them on Sunday, man, which is nuts. Don't touch these with a, like whatever you do, don't touch them. The 81 double pluses have been giving out decent stuff. They cost about eight to nine K to complete. Um, you buy 11 players, you know, 750 to 800, 850 coins is all it costs you. You can buy a squad of players. You can stack 20 of them. You know, it only costs you 80, 90 K. If you do 10 of them, start with 10, do it 80, 90 K, spend hundred K, do some upgrades, see what you get. And maybe do little sets of 10, right? You can motivate, like I love doing upgrade packs on foot. I, I, I live for the upgrade packs, man. And I got rash for today, which feeds, feeds it the addiction even more. I want to do even more of those upgrade packs. So if you want to do those packs and you don't have a ton of coins, set a goal for yourself with trading, right? Like, let's say you want to do some trading and you're going to look at like, um, I'm, you know, here's a little double shout for you. This Digne card. I think this is too low, especially if we would get a, another no more prem SBCs. This guy is low right now because of the, the Amavi SBC that came out. If you see this guy at like 140, I'm a fan. I've got like three or four of them that I've picked up at 140K. He's a Premier League French left back, Lynx galore. I know he's not the best card ever, but he's tradable on the game. A lot of the French left backs in this game, you can't actually find them tradable. Like Theo Hernandez and Digne are one of the only left backs that are French in this game, Benjamin Mendy as well, um, that are like quality and good left backs. The rest are all like SBCs or they're no longer found. Ferland Mendy, Rusillian, and now Amavi. So I like that Panic Cell. French, Prem, it'll rise after Amavi goes away. So 140K, I'm a fan there on that card. Um, but that's the kind of stuff that you could be trading with this week. And this is the kind of stuff um, that you want to watch out for this week with the SBCs dropping as well. As we do uh, put out SBCs, you could be trading um, back to my original point, you could be trading to kind of um, fund those SBCs, right? So let's let's say you buy some Dignes, the Amavi SBC goes away and the Dignes is back up to 160, right? Boom, you made some coins there. Now you can go afford to do uh, some upgrade pack SBCs. But watch as they put out more, more of these either flashbacks or of the, the full birthday SBCs because it's gonna affect substitute goods, right? So today, we saw the um, Ogbona SBC. What happened to other Premier League center backs? Tamori is a great example. This card was almost 500,000 coins this morning. That's not Tamori. Uh, Tamori was just under 500K. He was like 480, I think. The SBC was announced, and I think this guy is like 440 now. Is that true? All right, he was 448 just an hour ago, so he's still like 450. And that's just kind of the drop you see on the substitute goods, right? Another... Um, Prem center back came out. The other ones that are on the market sometimes drop. Now, since Ogbonna is out for the rest of FIFA, I would invest in this card as a panic sell because that SBC is there for the rest of the year. Will this card rebound? Probably. If we get a, if we get a English, like uh, maybe they put out a Trent. I don't know. Trent's a bad example, but another English player from the Prem that this card could link to. That could be. You could see this card rise in price if it's another SBC like that. But watch out for that sort of trading this week, the substitute panic sell trading. Uh, if you see, a, it's got to be good links. It's got to be a desirable card. That's why I bought that Digne, right? That is a very desirable card. It's Prem, and it is a left back, and it is French. You always need left backs in your teams. There's not a ton of them on the market that are Prem. And then, you know, it's a solid card as well, and he's, uh, he's a household name. Digne, not a household name, but popular, right? Left back in the Prem. Digne's been pr playing pretty well before the year was, was stopped. So that's the kind of stuff I would look out for this week. Would we get any objectives this week? Probably not. I think that the Bellarabi and the um, the Paqueta are there. Oh, I got to do this. What's this one? Play two matches. All right, I got to play two matches today so I can get that kosher and get that good. Um, but Bellarabi and Paqueta are here for the week, I think. Yeah, they're here until Friday. And then, um, of course... I'll touch on this slightly at the at the end now, but this next Friday, 
I'm Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are going to be big days on foot because of this foot birthday squad with all the supply. What's going to happen during rewards? I think stuff will go down. What's going to happen with the panic selling before rewards? Because on some of the really meta cards like an Mbappe, a Griezmann, a Rashford that won't get packed that much at rewards, but a lot of people will want to buy them for their weekend league squads. What's going to happen then? And then, of course, Friday starts another weekend league with the confirmed new weekend league, or the double player picks that they're going to be in objectives. So keep an eye out for that. There's going to be a lot more people playing weekend league this next weekend. That'll be something to factor in, and that'll affect us next week for awards on Thursday as well. That'll be something that we have to keep in mind. And then, of course, whatever content we're going to get this week in terms of like pack supply SBCs, um, we should be getting more of these. Like we have the foot 10 SBC out right now. Uh, I assume we'll get a foot 11 SBC in the next couple days. Uh, so that will be some pack supply that I do think we could see. And again, I'm just really interested to see what kind of player SBCs EA puts out during the week this week. So that's kind of the market outlook for me. These foot birthday cards, they're kind of low right now. They're the lowest that most of them have been since they were in packs. You might see them kind of trickle up in price into Monday, Tuesday, depending on the content. You might see them drop back down Wednesday, Thursday, possibly into Friday. You know, Friday is set too. They could juice up the second team. You know, we could have Salah, we could have Dybala, we could have some other big time players. I find it hard. I don't know if they're going to be able to top set one with set two, but we'll see what happens on Friday of next week. And then next week, I wouldn't expect it this week, but next week we'll be talking about a guaranteed foot birthday SBC. If we see that in the code, that'll be something very, very interesting to talk about and could cause some big time market movements. But again, if you're, if you're wanting to trade this week, out of pack special cards, again, are my fave. Watching the panic sell and watching substitute goods get lower on the market if there is an SBC that comes out. Again, making note of if is that SBC out forever and is the player that's getting panic sold a usable meta and a popular card on foot and of course if you want to trade with icons as well people are still buying icons some of the icons have dipped in price a little bit this week um just kind of going off a quick search here let's see if i can get to the 59th minute fast um but some of the icon prices have dipped a little bit because i think people might be selling some of them uh because icons aren't really hype right now but birthdays are hype right and you have a five million coin mbappe you've got like three cards you got four cards five cards in this team that are over a million coins so you know some people might be selling some icons to go try out some of these foot birthdays just to give them a shot so um icons are still great to trade with though especially on the lower budget i mean i don't mess around with icons too much on the lower budget these days um but lower budget icons like some of these can be big time money makers um, some of the babies and some of the um, mids that are out of packs, they fluctuate a lot because they don't have any supply. And some of them that were really usable, like a Rio or like a Maldini, sometimes like this Verone even, you can make some big money flipping these cards around because there's a lot of people on the game right now. A lot of people on the game, live transfer number is high and people are buying cards, people are on this game, which means trading is good because there's activity. Whenever the market's dead and nobody's on, it's hard to trade. But right now, there's a lot of stuff to do a lot of people are on, so it's a good week to trade. So keep that in mind as well this week on foot. I'll be opening upgrade packs, of course, like all week because I love these upgrade packs and I still want to try to hit, you know, a Griezmann or a Hazard or Mbappe or a Sissoko. Any of those guys would love to hit him. So take your best shot at these. Spend a few coins if you want to. If you don't, that's fine as well. Um, you can craft these for like bronze upgrades, the silver upgrades, the gold upgrades, to these if you really want to go that far. That's a grind, but you could do it if you really wanted to. Um, but if you get any good polls, make sure you check the Twitter link down below in the description. Send me your polls on Twitter. I love seeing those on there as well. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week, boys. I'm re it's really just kind of up in the air depending on what content EA drops. And I think it's going to be a solid week of content on foot. They've held up their end of the deal so far and I continue to see it. Looks like it's going to continue happening. So that's my market outlook for this week, boys. Again, if you have any questions, comments, drop them below. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the foot account. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.